You are going to be hurt by the decisions you make for your life. And your life is not meant for them. Your life is not even meant for your your sexual partner, your spouse. It's not even meant for that. It's meant for the greater good of all people. listening to the unapologetically unstoppable podcast it's about going deep into who you were made to be and following that no matter what where your calling is in the front seat and fear well it's trying to stop you but fuck that guy and getting the tools and tips to become unstoppable i'm your host jeanette peterson where not too long ago, I had to find my calling. Here, you'll hear from me and other online experts on how to discover your calling, the steps to make it happen, and how to monetize it. I believe when we're unapologetic about our calling, we become an unstoppable, expansive force. So let's get started. episode. This one's going to jump you off the bridge. I mean, it's literally called jump off the bridge because I think it's time. There are some deep things that you feel stirring in your heart. There are some deep things that you know that you need to do, but you're scared to do. Girl, it's time to take that plunge. And you know what? It's going to be scary. It's going to be scary. I'm not going to lie, but you know what we're made to do? Adapt. Our bodies are made to adapt to extreme circumstances. And that's the only way that we actually change our lives. For me, it was taking the plunge of joining the military. Did I want to join the military? Straight up? No, not really. And once I got on that plane to basic training, and then we got on the bus to go to base, I have never been more scared in my entire life. I felt like I was in a fog the entire time, going through the motions, terrified every single day waking up. It was, no joke, a traumatic experience. But it changed my life. What is that big, scary thing that you need to do to just do that drastic thing? And people are going to be upset with you. I go home and my mom still says, you remember that day you said you were going to join the military and then you just left? I still, it's been like almost 20 years and my mom still talks about it. People are going to be hurt by the decisions you make for your life. And your life is not meant for them. Your life is not even meant for your, your sexual partner, your spouse. It's not even meant for that. It's meant for the greater good of all people. So I don't take my direction from man, what man says I should do, what I shouldn't do, how I should do things. I take my direction from the divine, the Holy Spirit, God. That's where my direction comes from. And sometimes it doesn't even make sense to me to do those things, but I will because my life is not for me. I remember when I had just moved to Vegas and my husband said, you know, we should go to this church. So we went to this church and I told him that we needed to give our car away. He was like, oh, okay. I didn't know why. Didn't make sense. It's not like we were swimming in cars or vehicles, but I was working from home, so I didn't really need one. It wasn't going to put me out or anything. So we gave our car away. Brand new car. We let somebody borrow it without an expiration date. 
And because I don't get my direction from man, I get my direction from the Holy Spirit. I listened. And that changed my life. Not only did it change their life, the people who we let borrow our car for six plus months, it changed my life. So although I thought I was helping somebody else, it was, I was really helping myself. I was helping myself gain the capacity for giving, the capacity for learning, the capacity to do something different and to listen to the Holy Spirit and knowing things will turn out good for me. And the thing is, I wasn't even put out. There was one day that I like decided to Uber around town, but that was my choice because I wanted to see what Uber was about. I didn't need to leave the house. My kids were well taken care of. My husband was going to work. I was working from home. Everything was fine. If I was so worried about what other people thought, about you have to have two cars because yada, 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 I wouldn't have been able to get those blessings. So what are you, what blessings are you stopping in your life? Because you refuse to do things that don't seem typical. And are you looking in the lens of an American in 2022 where you think you should have all these things? Or are you looking at the lens of the Holy Spirit where life is abundant, never ending, infinite, and you're just a literal blip on the screen? You know how you take those hyperlapse videos? You won't even show up in the hyperlapse of the earth. They will never see your face. So why don't you live for the greater good of mankind? Where you could actually affect change and bless your life and further generations. Because sometimes you have to take drastic measures to get drastic results. So jump off that bridge, girl. Do that hard thing. You might be uncomfortable, but that's okay. You got this. my goodness now i know you're ready to take this to the next level so what you need to do is go to facebook join a community of badass unapologetically unstoppable women at the unapologetically unstoppable community and you can find me on the grams at jeanette.peterson or at peterson and bell this podcast was created by me jeanette peterson and allison hartman our producer is the amy williams talk soon